Hello, this is MickJ101, and as you may have seen in my last video, if you saw that, um, I got a nice big chunk of dry ice, and I had a thought, what if I ran my Sterling engine with dry ice? Is it possible? So, I have some dry ice underneath the displacer there, and it's actually running quite well, surprisingly. So, I just have a nice, ch ch nice um, chunk of dry ice under the um, displacer there and there's just a towel holding it up there and then in the water jacket I have some boiling water going through that we're nearly boiling it's like I have my Bunsen burner just heating it up there and it's boiling right now actually it wasn't before and I just have that circulating through there real slow through that valve through the um, through the water jacket so this is nice and hot and because the part that's normally cold is hot and the nor part that's normally hot is cold the engine actually runs backwards, so as you can see, there's a little arrow on the um, flywheel there, and or the crank, and it normally goes this way, but as you can see, it wants to go the other way. Well, it doesn't have much power, but it works, and I actually didn't think it would work on this engine because this engine requires somewhat high temperatures, but I guess the negative hundred and something degrees. Fahrenheit that that dry ice is is enough, and the, then the so it's probably got about 200 degrees of um, temperature difference there, and I guess that's enough to make it run. So that's just kind of cool, cool little experiment I thought I'd try. Now I had to also add a larger flywheel because it wouldn't the smaller flywheel this Honda didn't quite have enough momentum to keep it running, so I had to add a larger one and it runs. So, I'll just take the dry ice, dry ice out so you can see that. There's the dry ice, nice and cold. I'll just leave that up there for a minute and you can see it'll stop running in a minute here. And my brass bushing, they're starting to get some wear. So I'm actually going to rebuild that. I actually am pretty excited because I got a nice chunk of graphite. And that's going to be really nice for making a new, um, when I make another Sterling engine, I'm going to use this for my, um, for my displacer gland there. So that should work really good. So I'm pretty excited about that. It actually looks like lead, but it's very light and it's graphite. So, might it might actually even make a piston out of it. It would make a very nice piston. So I don't know about that, but definitely a displacer gland. As you can see, it's almost stopping here. Oh, and I think I a can is getting too empty. And it's done. So that's about it. Hope you guys found that interesting. Thanks for watching.